I really take this time today to encourage my colleagues to support the Mikulski Amendment, which will ensure that women have access to essential prevention services. The leading cause of death for women are heart disease, cancer, and stroke. Early screening for risk factors could prevent many of these deaths and lead to improved health and quality of life for women. But despite the benefits of early screening, many insurers do not cover them, and too often women skip them because of the costs are prohibitive. We know that early detection of disease saves lives, and so we must ensure that needed preventive services are available to all Americans, regardless of gender. I have long worked to improve access to prevention services. Knowing that we do knew now about the importance of prevention, it seems hard to believe that before 1998, Medicare did not cover cancer screenings or other preventive services. I am proud that a bill that I authored in 1997 as a member of the House of Representatives, it established the first package of prevention benefits in traditional Medicare. Early stage diagnosis gives a five-year survival rate of, of 98 percent, and statistics compiled by the American Cancer Society indicates that 61 percent of breast cancers are diagnosed at this stage, largely due to mammographies and other early screening methods. The bill before us guarantees coverage for a number of services to promote public health and wellness and to prevent the devastating chronic diseases. Some of these measures include providing coverage for everyone for services that have an A or B rating by the U.S. Prevention Services Task Force. These tests and screenings are either recommended or strongly recommended and include screenings for osteoporosis, colon cancer, and would be covered with no cost sharing a strong incentive for people taking advantage of these screenings. Covering immunization recommended for adults by the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practice of CDC is also covered. Prevention, preventive care services and screening for infants, children, and adolescents that are su supported in comprehensive guidelines from the Health Resources and Services Administration. All that's in the underlying bill that will save us money and will save us lives. In addition to these vital services, the Women's Prevention Health Services must also be covered, the Mikulski Amendment. The Mikulski Amendment extends the preventive services covered by the bill to those evidence-based services for women that are recommended by the Health Resources and Services Administration. HRSA, a division of the Department of Health and Human Services, has as its goal to improve access to primary and prevention care services to uninsured and underinsured individuals. It focuses on maternal and child health, HIV AIDS care, recruiting doctors in underserved areas, health care in rural areas, and organ donation. HRSA strives to develop the best practices and create uniform standard of care, including eliminating health disparities among minority populations. Some of the additional services for women that will be covered under the Mikulski Amendment include mammography for women under 50 in 2000, Breast cancer was the most common cancer affecting Maryland women, with nearly 800 women died from the disease, according to the Maryland Department of Health and Mental Hygiene. According to the Kaiser Family Foundation, 76.6% of women aged 40 and over had a mammography within the past two years. This amendment would ensure that all of these women would have access to mammography at no out-of-pocket cost. Cervical cancer screening for all women regardless of whether or not they are sexually active. Ovarian cancer sc screenings, all those would be made available under the Mikulski Amendment. Ovarian cancer is the fifth leading cause of cancer among women in Maryland. Generally, yearly well women visits would be covered, pelvic examinations, family planning services, pregnancy and postpartum depression screenings, clomogony screenings for all women over 25, uh, Clomogony is the most prevalent sexually transmitted disease diagnosed in the United States, ensuring that women have access to prevention services that are recommended by experts on women's health is absolutely essential to providing quality care. This amendment protects the rights of women to consult with a doctor to determine which services are best for her and guarantees access to these services at no additional cost. Preventive health care initiatives are one area that I hope that we all could agree upon. The Senate has a long history of bipartisan support
for women's preventive services. I hope the string remains unbroken with this amendment. I strongly support the efforts spearheaded by Senator Mikulski to extend the services that are covered for women. I strongly urge my colleagues to support this very important amendment that makes a good bill better. This bill is desperately needed. Let us vote for those amendments that improve it, such as the Mikulski Amendment, and let us move forward with this debate.